So I follow a lot of anime, manga, and general art pages across all of my social media accounts, and I usually find new things to watch or read while just randomly scrolling throughout the days. One of my favorite pages to look at was this dark fantasy manga art group that I had found one day, which unfortunately has since been deleted. But they would mostly just repost or do a lot of fan art from things like Berserk or Sunken Rock or Vagabond, for example. But there was about a week straight where a bunch of random people were just constantly posting this crazy art of this wild pumpkin girl. And eventually, it piqued my interest enough to look into what it was actually from. And that's how I stumbled upon Pumpkin Night. But before I get into actually explaining what Pumpkin Night is, there's going to be some spoilers and a bit of gore ahead. Also, as far as I'm aware, there's no official translation for this series. So this will be entirely about the fan scanlation that I read, which can be pretty awful at times. So Pumpkin Knight is a horror slasher manga about a girl who is horribly bullied and locked up in a mental hospital after sustaining severe injuries due to the bullying, where she ended up having the majority of her head covered with sulfuric acid and burned. But then she escapes from the hospital and is now hunting down the bullies and anybody who gets in her way for revenge. It's a bit of a darker and gorier story than what I usually read, but it's far from the worst thing I've subjected myself to. The characters in the series are mostly all horrible people, and they're written in a way that just makes you hate essentially all of them. But that could be completely at the fault of the translators, who decided it was a good idea to add in as many unnecessary memes and edgy jokes as possible in the dialogue, which is a pretty big turnoff to me and is probably the number one thing I've seen people complain about relating to this series. But when there's a side character who looks like this, you can probably expect it to be at least somewhat of a meme in Japanese as well. But back to the characters. I'm not gonna spend too much time on any specific characters, since most of them just die anyway, and there's not a whole lot of actual character development as of the current chapter. But the main two characters, Kazuya Makino and Naoko Kirino, at least have some substance to them. Kazuya is friends with the bullies, but was on the outside of the actual bullying and didn't really partake. And he has the most guilt and remorse for what had happened, and ends up being the only person to fully accept and embrace Naoko. And Naoko is the girl who was bullied and ended up becoming the Pumpkin Knight. She is mostly after revenge in the first part of the story, and in the most recent chapters, she's attempting to reunite with Kazuya. I think both of these characters are pretty interesting with pretty cool designs. As far as any character development goes, both of these characters are pretty lacking, but in a series like this, you can't really go in expecting the greatest characters to be written. But I think it's fair to expect at least some characters to have some substance to them, which these two definitely have over all of the other characters in the series. And as far as the story itself goes, there's a few interesting concepts that I really enjoyed, but I think overall it was just executed a bit poorly and could probably be rewritten in a much better way. It's essentially a slasher, so it has a lot of the generic tropes you would think of, with the killer being insanely effective and basically unbeatable. There's a few fanservice-y moments, and most of the characters are just incompetent and horrible. Generic stuff like that. It's extremely fast-paced with tons of one-sided action scenes, where it is literally just the Pumpkin Knight tearing people apart. Which I don't necessarily mind, but at the same time, I think having it a, at a bit slower of a pace, with more breaks between all of the action, would have been a much better way to have written the story. And at least for me, it would have been a lot more enjoyable to have had moments where you can build up some of the characters, rather than jumping straight into the next fight. But the writing and dialogue itself is probably the least enjoyable thing about the story, in my opinion. And like I mentioned before, the only translations I could find are pretty terrible. 
So in the original Japanese, the dialogue at least might be a bit better, but in the translated version, when the characters are constantly trying to make jokes and memes and changing how they speak randomly from scene to scene, it can get pretty annoying if you actually want to know what's going on in the story. It didn't completely ruin the story for me, but there's definitely moments where the dialogue and the actual scene don't really fit together, and it almost feels like you're reading something completely different. But with all of the bad that I think this series has, it also has one really good aspect to it. I think the best part is definitely the artwork. And I would even say it has some of the best art I have ever seen in a series. And it really carries the entire manga for me. And might be the only part that I actually enjoyed enough not to drop the series. There is a lot of gore in the series, which I personally don't have a problem with much, if at all. But... If that bothers you, then I wouldn't recommend reading this at all, but if you want a pretty wild and crazy manga where pretty much anything can happen and loads of people die with amazing art and horrible dialogue and lots of memes, it's a decent choice. And overall, I don't hate Pumpkin Knight, and I'll continue reading it when it gets new chapters, but it's not a series I would recommend to everyone or even go out of my way to read. But if you can put up with all of the bad parts of it, and if you enjoy revenge stories, it's not great or anything, but I don't think it's terrible either. It definitely has some potential. But as of this moment, it's just an annoyingly edgy gore manga that I don't completely hate. Thanks for watching.